Hey everybody, welcome back to the Race by Smokehouse and Grill. And today we are making one of our favorite dishes. It's simple, easy, delicious, and super cheap. We're grilling up some chicken leg. Let's show you how we do it. Let's go. So we cook this often, once a week, maybe once every other week or so, we are cooking up some chicken legs. They're usually fairly cheap. We were able to get these for 99 cents a pound at our local grocery store. Sometimes they're even cheaper than that. This package here is $3.50 and you get seven large chicken legs. This is three and a half pounds worth of chicken legs here for $3.50. You know, that's gonna feed our whole family for less than $4. So it's a great value cut of meat, but it's also extremely delicious. Chicken legs are nice and fatty, but have great meat, perfect for grilling. So we're gonna show you how we do it here real quick. Let's open these up and get them seasoned. So these are massive chicken legs. I just like to pull the skin down a little bit. That way it's not bunched up and it cooks a little more even. Today we're seasoning these up with a couple of Heath Riles rubs. We've been using these a lot lately. We're using the garlic jalapeno rub and honey rub. Great combination. So let's start and get these seasoned up. Gonna lay down the base layer of the honey rub. Gives it a nice sweet component, a little bit of color to there as it's cooking. And then over the top of it, a nice garlic jalapeno kick. This stuff is delicious and we've been using it on everything. Patting them in there a little bit to make sure that seasoning gets in there. Flip them over, do the other side. Again, this is gonna be a really simple, pretty quick cook and hit the other side as well. You could use your favorite seasonings on this. It could be salt, pepper. There's even times where I cook these without any seasoning whatsoever because I do hit them with a sauce at the end. And that sauce at the end could be more than enough flavor. These are seasoned up. Today we're cooking it on the Z-Grills pellet grill. So let's go get that fired up and show you how we do this. Okay, let's shoot over to the pellet grill, get it fired up. We're gonna cook these at about 275 degrees to start. Let's go. It's that easy. We're running with some Jealous Devil pellets today. We're gonna let this get up to temp and get that chicken on the cooker. We're actually gonna run these at about 350 degrees because we're grilling these. We wanna get a nice good crisp. We wanna get that fat good and rendered. And we're trying to do this in a, a quick amount of time. This is great for weeknight dinners, you know, so this is gonna take only about an hour, maybe an hour 20. So we're actually gonna run this at about 350 degrees, not 275. So let's get that heat up a little further. As soon as the cooker gets up to temp, we'll go ahead and throw these chicken legs on. Let's go. Our grill temp's right there. We're at 340 degrees right now. Let's get these on because we're getting hungry. These are on. We're gonna let them cook. We're gonna come back in about a half an hour, flip them over, and then start saucing them. At this point, there's nothing else left to do except sit back and wait about a half hour for these to get cooking. So we'll be back when it's time to start flipping and saucing. These chicken legs have been going almost 30 minutes and about 10, 15 minutes in, I shucked a few ears of corn that we're gonna eat with our meal today, threw some squeeze butter in there, wrapped them up in foil and threw them on the grill. The rest of the cook's gonna take maybe 40, 45 minutes. That's gonna be perfect time to let that corn cook. So now it's time to go sauce it. And today we're just using some original open pit barbecue sauce. This goes great with grilled chicken. It's my absolute favorite on grilled chicken. And it's again, affordable. It's, it's on the budget friendly side of these sauces. Some sauces you could pay 10, 12, 15 bucks for. This is only a couple dollars. This whole meal is gonna cost maybe $10 and it's gonna feed three of us and have some leftover. So let's go get this sauced up. The color on those chicken legs were looking great before we put the sauce on, looking even better with that sauce on. So we're gonna let this set up for another 15 minutes or so, come back, flip them, sauce them, keep going until they're done. We'll be back when it's time to flip and sauce again. 
We're at about another 15 minutes in. Let's go check the color on these, see if they're ready to flip. Let's go. Oh yeah, these are looking gorgeous. So let's give them a flip and another sauce. While we got this open, let's give this corner flip as well. Closed her back up. Gonna go another 15, 20 minutes and then we're gonna sauce again and then let it finish coming up the temp. I like to let my chicken legs go a little higher than normal uh, as far as internal temperature. I like to get them up into the 175 to 185 range, maybe even a little higher depending on the heat of the grill at the time. That just really ensures that chicken's gonna be fall off the bone tender. If you pull it off at 165 or so, it could still be a little bit tough. That's why I like to let it go that extra 20 degrees or so to really make it fall apart tender. And chicken legs, you really don't have to worry about drying out unless you severely overcook them because they are a fattier, dark meat and they're gonna stay juicier longer. So that's why we like to take it up a little bit higher. So we'll be back in about 20 minutes or so when it's time to throw our last sauce on there and let it finish cooking. Been another 20 minutes let's go check for color and then uh, check for temp and we'll see where we're at let's go all right you can see that these are looking gorgeous right now so let's go ahead and give a quick temp and see if we're going to do another sauce or not these are right about 175 i want that skin and that sauce to tack up just a little bit more before we pull them off so we're going to let these go to probably 185 190 but right now let's pull that corn off the corn's been on about 45 minutes and that's going to be done and we're just going to let the corn rest in the foil until it's time to eat Chicken legs are complete. This took exactly one hour on the pellet grill at 350 degrees. Take a look at the beautiful color on these chicken legs. They look absolutely amazing, delicious. Can't wait to get into them. And the best part of it, do some quick math. This batch of chicken legs cost $3.50. The ear of corns I got for 50 cents a piece, $2. So that's $5.50. And this is gonna feed three of us for at least one meal. So that's less than $10. You could even include the fuel and the, the, the seasonings. 10 bucks, three people, can't beat that. Especially with how delicious this is. I'm not gonna be an idiot and burn my face off and take a big bite out of it. So we're just gonna use a fork here real quick to show you how tender this is. It just comes right off. Perfectly cooked, still piping hot. It's gonna be amazing. One bite, everybody knows the rules. <laughs> tender, delicious perfectly seasoned, such a great meal. Budget friendly and amazingly delicious. Again, you start cooking this, you're gonna be cooking it as often as we do. So we're gonna let this cool down, go feed the family. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what we did here, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, follow us on social media, and we will be talking to you all soon. Thanks again, everybody. Peace.